Welcome, or welcome back. Today we will be cutting a basic one length triangular bob, also known as a A line bob. Starting the haircut with a profile section through to the nape, then we take two forward diagonal sections. These sections mirror the jawline. When cutting line haircuts, we use the wide teeth end of our comb. Be mindful to work with sections you can clearly see and control. When directing the hair, place your scissors under the section and then place your comb over. Before cutting I tap the section using my scissors to lower the elevation. This will guide your section and help to avoid the section from being stuck to the skin. It will make the section much easier to control and cut. We now cut a straight line. Our section is directed into natural fall and our elevation is 0 degrees through the comb. This tutorial will teach you how to cut a precision outline. We now check our balance. Before taking your first section, slightly direct your client's head forward. This will help control your sections in natural fall, and also help you see your section. We now take our second section. My mannequin has curly hair, you will notice how her hair springs up after I cut the section. Don't be afraid of this happening, make sure you're being consistent with your tension, elevation, and distribution and you will be fine. When cutting line haircuts, it's important to continue directing your client's head into positions that help you control the natural fall and elevation. We continue to take diagonal forward sections throughout this haircut. Throughout this haircut we cut square to every section. As you move around the head shape it's important your body is parallel to each individual section. We continue this process until we reach the occipital bone. Using your comb is a great way to check your balance. The next section we take will run from the occipital bone through to the front. With triangle line shapes, we have the option to build our length and weight in a subtle way or in a rapid way. You could choose to cut your line short in the nape and long in the front. I have chosen to cut my line with a slow build up of length and weight. Even hydration and tension will help maintain your precision line. We start this section in the back, moving through to the front on both sides. When we work over the ear area, we need to make allowances to compensate for the ear protrusion. To do this we be mindful of our tension. Here I am taking my section and then simply tapping my scissors at the roots then under the ear and then making sure my elevation is correct. I tap above the comb. We repeat exactly the same process on the opposite side. If you are nervous about uneven sides, you can always create a second guide by simply taking your comb, measuring the opposite side, and then using that length to cut your guide. Be mindful using the same elevation when measuring. Making sure you're working parallel to your section, and maintaining consistency with every section. Now you can see how our line is starting to follow the jawline. When cutting any line haircut, it's really important, your cutting line is at eye level.
When learning any haircut, it is important to take your time to master every step. Practice over and over until you master it, and then work on your speed. Continue to check the balance of your haircut, this will give you confidence that you're on the right track or will alert you to any discrepancies that may need attention. Continue to tap above and below the ear as we work through this zone of the haircut. Don't forget to maintain even hair hydration. When we reach the fringe area, we do use over direction. We simply comb the hair across the hairline, then down before cutting. This is to ensure we maintain length, so when the haircut is worn by the client, the line of the haircut continues our aligned triangular shape. We now move on to our final two sections. We now blow dry the hair into natural fall to prepare the hair for refining and personalizing. Now we have wrap dried the hair, we are going to start refining our design line. We are going to use our scissors to point cut and refine any unwanted graduation. We secure our scissors with the opposite hand while we work in small sections with a point cutting motion. It's important to remain at eye level and to keep your body position parallel to the section to check your work, take a look from underneath your line and straight towards your line, and you can also use your mirror, it's important to check from different angles. When refining into the section, it collapses the shape which helps your line to sit closer to the head. Continue to comb your hair into natural fall whilst refining your line. I hope you enjoyed this precision line tutorial. If you value my work, I would really appreciate if you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for the next tutorial that is part of this precision line series.